Okay, so how to tell if a treatment or system is bogus? We run into this a lot. A lot of people see their colleagues as cha-ching people. Oh, I can make so much money off this person. They don't know. There are a few things that we have to learn to look for and not get caught by. Because I have fallen for this and felt like the north end of a southbound horse because of it. So, first things first. Transparency. If you're going to be dealing with someone and you want to either take their treatment approach or be treated by them, it would really help if they can explain to you how it works. And transparency doesn't mean quantum. It doesn't mean energy. It doesn't mean alignment. It means, okay, so here's what we understand about this. Here's the best of our knowledge and here's why I'm basing this. Here's how it makes sense to me. Are you on board? That's it. Are you on board with that? Does that make sense to you? If you see a plethora of buzzwords, that is opaque, that is not transparent, that's no bueno. So if you see someone saying, oh, well, my new system is the best system and does it differently than everyone else, and everyone is worse than me because of this, and I use energies, and I use special molecular binding techniques, and, and chakra cleansing techniques, and my needles are the best needles, and my pads are the best pads, and my A and F discs realign your energy. All of these things, if you see any of that, just, just, just walk away. One of the fascinating things in our field, nothing new has been done. A hands-on approach is still a hands-on approach. A, a, a V to A thrust is still a V to A thrust. P to A thrust, V to A. That would be anatomically impossible. A P to A thrust is still a P to A thrust. Petrissage is still petrissage. All of these things are, are the way they've always been. You're rubbing something, or you're pushing on it, or you're pulling on it, or you're shearing it, or you're twisting it, or I don't know, vibrating it. When we start getting into the explanations, we start learning more and more. The magic needs to kind of minimize. The explanations should get more clear, should get louder. And when someone's explanation for why their system is great is because I'm better than everyone else and it's magical, that's woo. That's someone targeting you for your pocketbook. That's someone seeing dollar signs when they look at you. And that's someone you don't want to deal with. Don't be like me. Don't fall for that. If you're wondering if something's legit or not, there are groups on Facebook and, and other places, I'm certain, that you can message and say, hey, is this, is this supported by the evidence? Is this supported by the science? Does this seem legit? Or am I just being taken for a ride? Because I'm sorry, we have way too many quantum healers out there in our field. We have way too many just unsupported claims. Turf it. Get rid of it. Let it go. That's okay. I have had to re-identify myself as a therapist so many times because my head was so far entrenched up my ass. I saw daylight out the other side and I thought it was right. I was a dumbass. Learn from my mistakes. I hope for some of you that helped today. I know it's not as... as techy and explanatory as I usually go, but it's just, just some stuff I've seen a lot more of lately, and it, it feels like someone's trying to revive dinosaurs here. They're extinct for a reason. So, yeah. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Okay.